Okay, so I'm just going to quickly show you in After Effects um, how to save a file or whatever you've done as a QuickTime movie. As I, di I did a video on this before, and at the beginning it didn't get many views, and I was on my computer uh, yesterday and I just checked it and it had about a thousand or something views and I was just like okay and I did that on Windows and it was just a really bad screen recorder so I thought I'd just do it again on here <coughs> so let me just go ahead and open something on fact you can double click here and you can find stuff to open just double click on this bit uh, Uh, let's just go on video code pilot. Let's go for this 34 ABI. Then you could drag these down to here and it makes a new composition for it. And obviously, this composition is not that the thing isn't that big. Just to zoom into it quickly. So, there's my thing basically that a little thing I downloaded, I think, off of. Someone's channel, I forgot the guy's name. But I'll put his channel in the uh, description because it is a good little thing. He has some nice After Effects things anyway. <coughs> so, what you got to do, you go to Composition, Add to Render Queue. And you see here before we even did that, it said Render Queue here. So, you just click here. Go to render settings, best settings, da, da 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 do what you want. Okay, this one output module. You can go quick time, you can go uh, I think you can go AVI. Uh, I think AVI is somewhere. Or oh, oh, there isn't one. Usually there is. Um anyway. Um so it's as easy as that really to like save a file with a quick time thing. You always gotta do is go to the output module and go to format and go quick time movie or quick time and it just make the screen bigger. Go to output and just save it as whatever, just go like da da da. Call it thirty four because that's what it is. Uh desktop, save it on desktop. The quick time movie, and then it won't do it right there. So don't think, oh, why is it not working? You have to go. You have to, yeah. Go to this render button and click render, and it'll render out. It'll play it as well as it renders it. And you see how I've zoomed in. So it's made it clearer as well. This quick time format, anyway, as well. And after it's done, there you go. You'll hear that noise. That annoying noise. And now it should play here. You might open quick time to play it. Yep. Uh, why is my computer going so slow? Okay, well, if I click another one, uh, another one. That's good. There you go. And now it's in your quick time file. So before it was in my AVI, it was AVI, now it's quick time. To be honest, let me just get this. See if it's made it clearer. I don't, I don't think it's made it clearer, but it could have. There's video go pilot. <coughs> AVI. Oh, it's coming up the same thing. Oh, no, no, no. no, it's kept it the same. It's just changed the format. But anyway, uh, hope this helps you just to. Uh, know how to save as a quick time movie but you know I'm gonna drop this little hint um, if it's ever a movie that you've downloaded you want it as AVI or unless a certain thing can't play it but most DVD players PS3s Xboxes etc can always play AVI because AVI plays on any DVD player so keep movies as D AVI if you need to like Compress them if you downloaded them, you know. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching.